Brittany Umar. Welcome to the Nooner presented by the Village Poorhouse, where we always have home field advantage no matter what the score. The American League defeated the National League again in the All-Star Game. The NL hasn't won since 1996 when they made up for their talent disadvantage by using a bunch of steroids. President Barack Obama was in the house and threw out the ceremonial first pitch. Let's check his form. The lefty pitches from the windup, rears back, lets it fly, here comes a breaking ball, and it's low, ball four. And of course he has three years left on his deal, damn it. The president was in great spirits for most of the night, but he was brought down a little when he was reminded about the crappy economy, the war in Iraq, and then he had to sit in the Fox booth with Tim McCarver and Joe Buck. McCarver told Obama that the AL's dominance probably had something to do with the DH, even though the game was played at a National League park and there was no DH. Obama said he understood McCarver's rationale anyway, and with clear thinking like that, he should consider running for Senate. The game was in St. Louis, and the crowd actually booed Obama a bit while cheering former President George W. Bush, who appeared in a pregame video. Bush mistakenly thanked his followers for naming Bush Stadium after him and rewarded them by having this stealth bomber that he stole from the office before he left do a flyover before knocking off a few more terrorists. Maybe he didn't realize that the stadium is named after Bush, as in spelled with a C, but in his defense, W finished his entire batch of C by the late 80s. The locals performed pretty well in last night's game. Derek Jeter scored twice, although we don't know her name. David Wright had a broken bat single that, as usual, was nowhere close to being a home run. K-Rod pitched a perfect inning. Apparently, God also made the NL squad. And Mariano Rivera notched another big save, which the Angels will really appreciate when they host Game 1 of the World Series. Okay, okay, just kidding, Yankees fans. Actually, Mo downplayed the achievement afterward, saying that any home field advantage for the Yankees in October would be mitigated by the disadvantage of carrying A-Rod in their lineup in October. Tampa's Carl Crawford won MVP honors, mostly due to this amazing seventh-inning game-saving catch in left field, also known as a catch no Mets left fielder could ever, ever make. One quick non-All-Star note, as former All-Star and definitely not future All-Star Pedro Martinez signed with the Phillies. Pedro said he wanted to sign somewhere he was familiar with and comfortable with, so he immediately hit the 15-day DL with a mild shoulder strain. No, really, that's not a lame Nooner joke. It's actually true. A ridiculously goofy injury story that doesn't involve the Mets? Can you believe it? I better wrap up today's show before the world ends.